Hello friends, in this video I am going to teach you some easy tricks to learn the general trends of p-block elements. First you have to know this, the common characteristics of p-block elements. I think you all know this because uh, it's easy, it's just given like this in our uh, reference books and maybe in textbook also. So you just have to take a look at this. I am not going to explain you this. If you want you can pause the video and read it. Okay, that's all. And now I will teach you how to learn uh, the general um, about the general characteristics of each uh, each groups in P block. Okay, so in the following table, I have made uh, I have given each things in each color that is a uh, green color for showing indicating the increase and then violet for indicating the decrease and uh, brown for some other related things. So here I have the table. So uh, now the group name, group and name that is group 15 nitrogen family, group 16 oxygen family, group 17 halogen family and group 18 noble gas. So first we will look at the elements in each group. In group 15 we have nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. In group 16 we have oxygen, sulfur, scandium telenium polonium and such all this we all know all these things right so uh, next we have to know the electronic configuration that also we all know in this uh, in group 15 it is extra stable electronic configuration due to half fill p orbital and for group 18 it is also stable as it is full fill p orbital then atomic radii atomic radii is directly proportional to number of shells that is if the number of shells increases then the atomic radii will also increase we know that I will show you for example if if this is the number of shells so as the number of shells increase the radii is also increasing right just like that so atomic radii is directly proportional to number of shells and as we already said green color represents the increase so atomic radii increases down the group in each in every every groups and then uh, uh, this violet color is for uh, indicating the uh, decrease right so smaller than elements of so these in group 16 they are smaller than the elements of group 15 because of increase in nuclear charge so that also you can have a look now next one is oxidation state and this is all um, this we are not going going to give much importance to oxidation state but you should just know this oxidation states of each one I'm not discussing about it because there is no increase or decrease such things here so just have a look <laughs> then we have ionization enthalpy in groups um, ionization enthalpy is directly proportional to nuclear charge and down the group it is inversely proportional to atomic size so um, it is much higher than that of corresponding elements of group 14 because of increase in nuclear charge as we already said so uh, just have a look the color itself tells you whether it's increasing or decreasing i mean the color i have used and also the reason for it is given here next is we have electron gain enthalpy it is not uh, mentioned about electron gain enthalpy of group 15 so let's go uh, go and look at group 16 elements electron gain enthalpy because of small size of atom oxygen has less negative electron gain enthalpy than sulfur so such things we just have to take a look at this and then uh, we have metallic nature which is inversely proportional to ionization enthalpy next we have electronegativity which is also inversely proportional to atomic size then melting point which is inversely to uh, van der waal force then then we have density and then liquefaction which is directly proportional to atomic size and directly proportional to van der waal force i'm not giving much explanation because i'm not feeling well today uh, so i just hope that you will just go through it and you will get an idea of it if you want you can take screenshot of it Thank you.